Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of my Road to All Scaling Pet series. Yeah, I have not made this in a long time. It's actually been since November. So if you're a newer subscriber, you probably have no idea what's going on. And yeah, this series is exactly how it sounds. I'm going for all the skilling pets in the game currently. There is 19, but there is a high chance that we will see combat pets in the future, like, you know, attack or summoning, for example. So those will be added when they do come out, if they do. So yeah, there has been a long time since the last episode, and there has been a hell of a lot of progress to talk about. So let's jump right in. Now, way back when I made that last episode, only a couple weeks afterwards, I could have made another one, but I kind of just got distracted with my Iron Man series, and I felt like it was just not enough progress. But the reason why I should have made an episode back then is because I got the farming pet. And if you've been following my channel a couple months ago, I got 200 mil farming. So I did get the pet at 192 million experience, so that was pretty lucky, because... The Skilling Pets update came out when I had 175 mil farming, so I was actually pretty scared that I wouldn't get it before 200 mil. And I love farming, but I don't really want to farm, you know, past 200 mil just for the pet, so I was really excited that I finally got it. Got it off a palm tree over in Herblore Habitat. And yes, I know I say Herblore weird, but that's my accent. A lot of people actually say in the comments that I say it weird, but that's just how we say it over here. Fun fact of the day. Anyway, I'm not a huge fan of the farming pet per se, but I just really, really wanted the pet because, you know, it's my favorite skill. And then in December, we had the winter weekends, and one of them was the skilling weekend, which included the artisan's workshop. You got double experience over there, which is insane. If you combo it with the smithing brawlers, you can get immense amounts of experience per hour doing rune ceremonial swords. And that's what I did for actually a fair while during the weekend. But it is so tedious and I just wanted to quit <laughs> afterwards. I just could not handle it. So I only did it for 5 million experience. And because there was so much bonus experience during it, I only really got like 1 million base experience. And if you didn't know, the skilling pets are based on the base experience. They don't include bonus experience into the chance of you getting the pet. So if you think about it that way, I didn't really do that much smithing for the pet, but I did increase my experience, which in theory increases the chance of me getting the pet later on. I'll return to smithing later. I do have a bunch of brawlers still in the bank. And then we probably should talk about Slayer. So yeah, I do need to get the Slayer pet. And of course I do still need to get 120 Slayer before Menaphos comes out. So I've actually been slaying fairly actively recently. If you guys watched me stream Double Experience Weekend about two weeks ago, you would know that I did so much Slayer over that weekend. It totaled like, I think, 10 million experience. I unfortunately did not get the pet, but I did get my Slayer up uh, closer to 120, which is another threshold. Of course, I'm going to continue slaying, and hopefully I can snag the pet before 120, because I'm not super keen on slaying past 120, at least right now. So, it would be fantastic if I got it beforehand, but who knows? Who really knows? I only have like 20 million more to go. And I won't be covering any drops in this episode, but I will be making some loot videos on all this Slayer gains in the near future, so don't worry about that. As for the last thing I do want to talk about, this was probably the majority of my time spent going for pets in the past couple months. I did a lot of fire making. I think I mentioned this in the last episode that I would start AFKing Magic Logs over at the Max Guild, and that's what I've been doing anytime I need to AFK. I haven't done it super consistently. I would take like week, two week long breaks, but generally I was doing a lot of fire making. And just recently they released a new fire making perk and they made crystal tinder boxes augmentable. So I actually did a lot of fire making in the past couple weeks, which I may as well explain what the new perk does and the benefits of the crystal tinderbox. First of all, I have the level three or level four perk on my crystal tinderbox, the pyromaniac perk, which gives you a 0.1% chance per rank of burning all of your logs in your inventory instantly. I've actually only seen it proc like only two or three times, but that could be explained by, you know, your AF King fire making, you're not really paying attention. So I don't know if it's really that good, but it doesn't hurt to have, right? So I'd recommend getting that on your crystal tinderbox if you're planning on doing a lot of fire making. Another benefit of using the Crystal Tinderbox, not only is it augmentable for the invention experience, 
It also has just a passive ability that it gives you much, much more fire spirits. And I believe it's like five times more. I could be wrong, but I was testing it and I was getting so many. I was getting like three to five, like every inventory, unless it was like a fluke inventory. But that was kind of cool. It made fire making more engaging. So I actually have loot from 100 fire spirits here for you guys. I didn't want to make like a separate video for this because it's so little. But now, as you can see, the charms are probably the best part of this. It's not amazing. But it's a decent way of getting charms while doing fire making. I mean, you're going to fire make anyway, so you may as well just click the fire spirits if you see them. And with a crystal tinderbox, you see them all the time. Now the actual material loot, like the money, it's really nothing. It's, it's so little that it really doesn't matter. And for the highlight of this fire making, oh man, just this weekend, so a few days ago, I got the fire making pet. I was so excited. I wasn't even paying attention to my game. You can tell that the graphics are on minimum, which never happens for me. And that's because I was on my laptop, mainly playing my Iron Man with max graphics. And then I put my main account to low graphics so that it would run smoothly. And all of a sudden I was on my Iron Man and I saw Fat Nublet has received Bernie. And I'm like, what the fuck? So I switched tabs. I had to find my recorder over on my computer because I have it in a different spot on my laptop and i was just so ecstatic because if you didn't know the bernie fire making pet is like the vitalis of skilling pets if you don't know what vitalis is it's the extremely rare one in five thousand drop from virago and bernie is kind of similar like it's so so rare for some reason don't worry that facebook notification was on my end i bet a few people looked going along with that i mean there are stories of people going several hundreds of thousands of logs past 200 mil without any luck. So me getting it before even 50 mil experience is ridiculous. And I am so, so happy that I don't have to fire make anymore and I can do something else with my time. I'll show you guys in just a minute um, the amount of experience it took, but I was actually considering going to the Jadinko fire making place because you actually have a better chance, apparently, to get the pet because there's like more XP drops as well as having the slight chance of getting the woodcutting pet too. So I was kind of throwing around the idea of me doing that um, sometime in the future, but I got surprised with the pet. So yeah, two pets in one episode, definitely crazy, but just keep in mind, it did take a long time to get here. Let's go and show you the progress when it comes to the slides. All right, first of all, look how beautiful those two pets on the left are. Oh man. And yeah, we are sitting at 7 pets right now out of 19. And I think we actually have pretty decent pets too. Like we have the Dungeoneering pet, which I would not want to do Dungeoneering <laughs> to camp for that. And I mean, I got Willow super early, which is the Divination pet. I mean, it's going really, really nice for me. And now it really begs the question, what skill should I do next? Uh, I don't really have anything else to AFK now, now that we're done with fire making. So I want you guys to... Vote in the comments, I guess. I'm not going to do like a straw poll, but I want you guys to say which AFK pet I should go for next. And again, that is my notification. I really should fucking close that tab. I was thinking personally cooking because you can actually kind of profit off of cooking right now and it is fairly AFK. So I don't know. Tell me your thoughts down below what I should do. As for the experience, this is how much was gained during this episode alone. So... Yeah, didn't do too much farming before the pet, which was nice. That's why it was only like three weeks after the previous episode. But yeah, look at how much fire making I did. That is a lot of fire making, but I can't complain. I was actually fairly lucky on it. Now, as you can see, I have six mil Slayer there. And the reason for that is because I had the double experience from, you know, the weekend. So that's the base experience I gained. Let's look at the total experience. So yeah, this is all the experience I've gained in total so far. And if you guys forgot, of course, the green ones are the pets I have, and the red ones are the ones I'm currently working on. So yeah, 35 million invention so far. I mean, I'm only sitting at like 114 million right now, something like that. So I still have a long ways to go before 200 mil, so I'm not really worrying about it. But yeah, hopefully we can get that one soon. Looking back at it, I really did not have a central theme on this video. I kind of just rambled on, but either way, hopefully it was something to listen to while you skill or something. And who knows, maybe you got a skilling pet during the video. And if you guys are wondering what happened to my boss pet series, the Master of PVM, that is not over. 
just like this one, it's not over. They just take so long to make in terms of playing. So I've kind of just put them on the back burner for now while I have a lot of fun with Iron Man. So don't worry. They are not done and over with. I will continue them at some point, but it's just going to be slow going. Anyway, if you want to talk to me in-game, join my friend's chat, Fat Nublet. Also, make sure to follow my Twitter down in the description. I post updates on when I'm making videos or streaming. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, even though it was super rambly. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day.